Good morning. It's been a while, hasn't it, Zach? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Zach wanted to um, vlog this weekend and I thought we've not done it for a while, so why not? It is Saturday, 8.02. I've been up since half five. Zach, how long have you been up? Well, I know, like, probably, like, six. Probably. So, um, what happens on Saturdays? Chill. Hmm? Chill. Chill, well. on the flow. <laughs> so, on Saturdays, basically, I spend all day tidying up. And the kids pretty much do what they want, don't you? Hmm? Basically yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> For you maybe. So basically, so <coughs> Zach gets to chill today. We're really busy tomorrow, but we've been working all week. Zach's been at school all week, so today's really the only day I get to like really tidy up. And tomorrow we get up really early, don't we? And what do we do on Sundays? We get up early mm. and go for a walk. Yeah. Let me just turn you around. Here. This is what I'm dealing with. This is why we tidy up. That wasn't wine. So, this is like charity shop and Zach's books. And this is charity shop. Yesterday was <coughs> Alfie's evening. So that's why we've got so many snacks there. And yeah. I'm gonna crack on. Hi guys. Gonna. So we're gonna show you something that I'm really good at. First we might have a one top of my room. We've got all my boxes. We sorted out. We just done them and got all my Fortnite toys and lots of things up there, games and yeah. So guys, I'm gonna be showing you me playing on Fortnite. No, I'm a, every day. Oh, that's one v one set up. Don't need that. Oh, on the, oh wait, I'm on the wrong build type. Oh. But it doesn't matter anyway, because I didn't go into the hardest things in Fortnite. So guys, I'll show you something. Well, I'll show you a tip if you play Fortnite. So, look, if you play Fortnite, this is a good tip for you. So, say you're in this just box, like someone box you in. Just build a stair there, and when he comes in, just pump in, and then before he pumps you, just jump, jump and then... Do that, and then if he's gonna come out, then come down and you should shoot him. But if he's still inside, then edit a window and then bump him. I have no clue what you're talking about. So, what I do on the Saturday, I don't know how far I'm gonna get today because, ah, oh, my back. Like my first day off work for a while. This is why I look like this. So what I do is I tidy up a bit, and then I sit down, read a chapter in my book, and then I tidy up a bit, but I miss so much pain, but there's a lot of, what I'm reading at the minute. Um, I'll update you with my car drama later. But since February 2020, I have driven eight different cars. I've just had enough. So this week has been a lot emotionally, physically. I'm just so tired. But is that quite a vlog this week? Because we've not done it for so long. But yeah, Saturdays are pretty boring. Just tidy it up, get things done, oh, and the food shop.
So, um, look, sun cream makes my face so shiny. Um, if I, there's not what I wanted to say, but if I'm going out, I'll leave this for 20 minutes and then I will put this on, which is a blurring primer. Make me less shiny and a powder. But yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the hair and here. I think Botox is the only answer. So let me show you all something. Oh my god. This is my shoes that I'm not wearing. My new sandals from ASOS. Oh my god. Let me show you these. Cute. Obviously cannot be wearing them right now. <laughs> my Yeezys, they've been here since Christmas. And these, one, two, three, four parcels. Oh, what I have to wrap up myself for my birthday. We have not done um, windowsill chats for a while. So, like I said, Saturdays are just chill and tidy. Well, let me talk to you about the car. So I had a Ford Focus given to me by Emma's granddad, um, a bargain. I think I paid £150 for it. Really old, it was like an x-ray. I think it was like about 18 years old when I got it. Absolutely loved it. Um, so I think after about three years, it sort of gave up the ghost, which was fine. So I just started a new job, needed a car. So I took out finance to get the Mariva. I got the Mariva in March 2020. So one day I'm at work, I've got someone that I work with in the car with me because I bury people around sometimes. Driving along about five miles per hour and the car cuts out completely. No engine, also no brakes. So I've had to do an emergency stop, restart the engine, it's been fine. So the place I'm going is like 30 seconds away. So driving there really slowly, hazard lights on. Refused to drive it, got it picked up by a mechanic, they looked at it, they said um, it could possibly be the fuel I'm putting in, so get different fuel. So I drove it and it was fine, and I started getting different fuel. It drove okay for probably about four days, and then um, took it to another mechanic, they looked at it again, they said no, it's fine. There's like no fault codes, no, nothing. Um, so then I decided to take it for a drive to open it up because around here all I do is um, like town driving. I don't go on the motorways or dual carriageways or anything. So I went out with Chris to open it up and then it cut out. Called the RAC who came out, took a look at it. So the engine looks brand new. This is like an 11 ridge car, so not brand new, but in good condition. Went to the first mechanic, he said he thinks that it's an electrical fault so then I took it back to Vauxhall I took it to Vauxhall they looked at it MOT'd it done a service on it cost me about £700 um, and it drove like a dream for four days and done the same thing so by that time I've had enough um, so my job I started walking instead of driving which was annoying but that's fine um, I done it for about a month and then I handed my notice in at work not just because hardly because I was walking it, I was just exhausted so walking probably had to play a part and you know that was one of the reasons and lockdown I wanted to be at home anyway so I took leave then we got a knock on the door it's one of the neighbours and a man has just crashed into the front of my car the day before it was due to go back to the garage so by this time it's working it's drivable but it might conk out you don't know so it's supposed to go back to the garage the next day and i'm just starting work <sighs> so um car gets written off i got this car high purchase so obviously all the money goes back 
to the hire purchase company. Now I've got no money and I need a new car. All my money has gone into this car and I've still got a little bit of finance to pay off. I'll start working again. I borrow money this time and buy a 2010 Corsa for £5,000. And I haggled that price, £5,000. And it's obviously not even worth anything near it, but I've got it from a proper dealer, made sure I had a year's warranty, made sure everything was all right. Because you know, if you buy it from a dealer, you expect to have a good car. By this time I'm on my like, I've got courtesy cars coming left, right and centre. I'm borrowing cars, I've got courtesy cars. I borrow cars from work, from my boss, from Chris's mum. I've driven a lot of cars. Anyway, so courtesy car goes back. I've had the Corsa sitting outside for maybe a month. I've driven it a couple of times, but when I've got like a 70 plate cash car, I'm not driving a 2010 Corsa. So I've taken the courtesy car back and I started driving the Corsa properly last Saturday. So I drove it Saturday for work, Sunday and Monday. And on Tuesday, i am um, made a turn. This is my steering wheel. I've made a turn, done the turn, and I'm coming back to straighten up the wheel. The wheel's locked, so I've turned it that way and sort of like unlocked it. So I phoned the Ford garage, which is where I got the Vauxhall from and said explained what happened i said that i'm obviously i've just brought this i paid a lot of money for it i'm bringing it back brought it back they've um had it all day i phone up they're like oh your car hasn't been booked in we didn't even know it was here blah 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 that was stressful enough I've got another call back being like, oh no your car was booked in but it's gone somewhere else they told me that they would only have it for a day i obviously need the car for work um i got that back so excuse me I need the car for work that's so got like Zach's car seat in it, everything in it. So the man who's had it, who's like a technician, has taken the car, they've taken it out for 45 minutes, can't find a problem. So I'm like, that's great, that's fine, just I'll get my car back. I need it for work and any problems I'll bring it back, which is fine. So I go up to the garage, I'm outside the garage and get another phone call. I go in, wait half hour to speak to the bloke about what's going on with my car, I can see my car's not there. And as the bloke was, um, as a technician was driving back, he'd gone round the roundabout and the steering's locked up. So they're like, we're not happy for you to have the car back. It is now Saturday and I've got a courtesy car. And I've still not got my car and I'm not heard from them. I don't know what's going on and I don't think I want to know what's going on. But now I'm five grand down with a car with a steering, seizes up as you're driving. Like I spend all day just stressing out about cars when there's so much more in life that I could be stressing out about. But yeah. Anyway, like I said, it's Saturday. We don't normally really do a lot on Saturday, but that is what is going on. Work-wise, so yeah, I left work for... I left beginning of February, went back end of March. It was just too much. I joined work as um, part-time working 9 till 2. But I was working 7 o'clock in the morning to start, I think the latest I ever got home was 20 to 11 at night. And homeschooling the kids at the same time and keeping the kids alive at the same time. I'd get like a gap for about half two to four. It was just too much. So I handed my notice in. They said, could you take leave instead? So I took leave, which I'm very grateful for. But I love my job. But I was so overworked. So now I'm doing part-time. I work from quarter past nine till two. And then every other weekend. And then I can do evening work as well as and when they just got to find me. So yeah. I'm happy to be back at work. But obviously the car situation affects me working as well. But that's just the way it is right now. Right, so I don't know if you've got the other ones, but we get a snack surprise box every month. We get a box with a country, so one country every month. Last month was Australia, we've had Bulgaria, Spain, what else? France, Italy, Italy. Just take the paper up. What you get? Oh, that's exciting! Tell him, Alfie. Have Portugal. No, no, we haven't had Portugal. 
Is it savoury? We Butana like savoury. Butanas fritas. What? The Alka Brutas. Butanas fritas. Butanas fritas. fritas. They look like sausage crisps. <coughs> One, two, three. It won't taste as strong as it smells. Mm? It won't taste as so strong as it smells. That's how do you say it? Chorizo. That's chorizo flavour. Zach has got a Chipacayo original. We have so many things like this though, don't we? Mm. It's like a chocolate filled croissant roll. Can I have the middle? <coughs> hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, we've never had anything like this before. We have tartlets, Morango strawberry. Vegetable and spices flavour. Oh my god, it smells like the it smells like walkers. Nicer mm. than the other ones. Mm? Nicer than the other ones. Yeah, I really like them. Amendo has chocolate deliets. Amanda has chocolate deliets. It is a marajuga milk chocolate with passion fruit, but it's Regina, which is the same chocolate. I'm a fan of Regina. Mm. Have some fruit and chocolate together, like that. Like, why was it? Mm. Oh. If you like passion fruit and you like chocolate, you must like both. <laughs> mm. I think most fruits go with chocolate. I don't know the best though, is it? Sugars. Oh, sugars. Sugars. Five sabots, so five flavours. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> Chew it. Frick. They're basically chew it. Mm -hmm. What? <coughs> what if you just swallow them? <laughs> oh, I've got lemon. Ladies, kiss me. Hi, guys. So, my mummy and daddy just got back from, um, food shopping and they um, got me uh, they got something actually it's evening time. yep and it's evening time and we have got my dinner over here yeah, we got my dinner and we got some coke and I've got a sushi menu. Hello, Goldie. Are you silvery now? No, we're not actually doing it yet, though, because it might turn back orange. Daddy. Yeah. When you watch this video, look at look at it. Look at the fish when I when I put it just on the tank. Okay. Oh my God! Are you okay? So that is the end of today. I think Zach spoke to you. I don't really know. I'm just so tired. I can't go to bed because that upset playing Fortnite. And it is quarter to ten at night. We're going out early in the morning, so I'm just sitting here reading my book. I'm so tired. Anyway, we will see you tomorrow. Bright and early. <sighs> I'll see you then.